Hello, my name is Nathalie Lesage of Faithful Living Home. This evening, the topic is perfect peace, but I'm going to do something a little different tonight compared to the other weeks. Um, I'm not going to take very long tonight. Um, I'm quite tired, actually, um, but that's okay. I'm feeling fine. It's just I haven't slept. My sleep cycle is kind of off a little bit right now, and i um, I've been finalizing my 52-week uh, Bible study journal, uh, and it's in three languages, English, French, and Spanish, and um, that's about to launch very, very shortly, which is really exciting because I know it's going to be a really helpful tool, and so, uh, but in the meantime, uh, this evening, what I'd like to do is I would like to invite you to pray to our Father in Jesus' name for repentance. The world needs a lot of intentional prayers right now. And um, by praying together, I feel it has a much bigger impact. And so if we intentionally do this every single day, um, I think it's going to be very helpful with what's coming. And so um, I'd like to ask you to take a moment to pray quietly uh, after this video is done. So today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read from Philippians, and I'm going to read chapter 1. And uh, I'm going to read from the Legacy Standard Bible, the L, uh, LSB. And uh, so we'll just do that. Let's see here. I'm just pulling it up on my phone here. So Philippians chapter 1, and this is the Apostle Paul, and um, he's in jail. And so, um, but he has a really inspiring message. And so I, I really, you know, have a big, big uh, soft spot in my heart for him because he gives me so much hope. And he always, you know, wants to strive and, and seek God and leave man behind and really... Uh, focus on God and that's what we really really need to do in this world at the moment that we're in so chapter one uh, says thanksgiving Paul and Timothy slaves of Jesus Christ to all the saints in Christ Jesus who are in Philippi with the overseers and deacons grace to you and peace from God our Father the Lord Jesus Christ I thank my God in all my remembrance of you, always offering prayer with joy in my every prayer for you all, because of your fellowship in the gospel from the first day until now. For I am confident of this very thing, that he who began a good work in you will perfect it until the day of Christ Jesus. For it is only right for me to think this way about you all, because I have you in my heart, since both in my chains and in the defense of and confirmation of the gospel, you all are fellow partakers with me in his grace. For God is my witness, how I long for you all with the affection of Christ Jesus. In this I pray that your love may abound still more and more in full knowledge and all discernment, so that you may approve the things that are excellent, in order to be sincere and without fault until the day of Christ, having been filled with the fruit of righteousness which comes through Jesus Christ to the glory and praise of God. Now I want you to know, brothers, that my circumstances have turned out for the greater progress of the gospel, so that my chains in Christ have become well known throughout the whole Praetorian Guard and to everyone else, and that most of the brothers, having become confident in the Lord because of my chains, have far more courage to speak the word of God without fear. Some, to be sure, are preaching Christ even from envy and strife, but some also from goodwill. The latter do it out of love, knowing that I am appointed for the defense of the gospel. 
for the former proclaimed Christ out of selfish ambition rather than from pure motives, thinking to cause me affliction in my chains. What then? Only that in every way, whether in pretense or in truth, Christ is proclaimed, and in this I rejoice. Yes, and I will rejoice, for I know that this will turn out for my salvation through your prayers and the provision of the Spirit of Jesus Christ, according to my earnest expectation and hope that I will not be put to shame in anything, but that with all boldness, Christ will even now, as always, be magnified in my body, whether by life or by death. For to me, to live is Christ and to die is gain. But if I am to live on in the flesh, this will mean the fruitful labor for me, and I do not know what I will choose. But I am hard-pressed between the two, having the desire to depart and be with Christ. For that is very much better. Yet to remain on in the flesh in more, is more necessary for your sake. And convinced of this, I know that I will remain and continue with you all for your progress and joy in the faith, so that your reason for boasting may abound in Christ Jesus in me through my coming to you again. Only live your lives in a manner worthy of the gospel of Christ, so that whether I come and see you or remain absent, I will hear about your circumstances, that you are standing firm in one spirit, with one mind, contending together for the faith of the gospel, in no way alarmed by your opponents, which is a sign of destruction for them, but of salvation for you, and that too from God. For to you it has been granted for Christ's sake, not only to believe in Him, but also to suffer for His sake, having the same struggle with you saw in me, and which you saw in me, and now here to be in me. Thank you, Paul, for these wise and kind, loving words. So I would like to ask you to join me in praying every day. Be intentional about it. Pray for the holy peace, for the peace that only God can bring in your mind, in your soul, the peace that only Jesus Christ can bring to this world. Pray with focus and intentionality. Pray for wisdom, discernment, and to not be deceived by what's to come. Dedicate yourself to Jesus. He is the perfect peace, and He loves you very, very much. Pray the Psalms. Tonight is a great night for this. Remember, chapter 34, verse 1 in the Amplified. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continuously be in my mouth. Amen. I will see you Thursday, God willing. Have a good night, my friends.